Ever wonder where your medical waste goes after it leaves your facility? Today we're going to show you the cradle to grave disposal process as we follow one of our drivers, Paul Blazer. Paul will have about 10 stops on his route today to collect medical waste from various facilities, including a hospital, clinic, funeral home, and skilled nursing center. He loads and secures his truck with the various size containers he'll need before leaving our licensed processing plant. Due to COVID-19, throughout the day, Paul wipes his hands, iPad, and steering wheel. He'll also check to make sure there are no special instructions before he enters each facility and will wear a face mask. He'll get the containers he needs and swap out full containers for fresh ones. When married drivers collect waste, they make sure all bags are tied and lids are sealed before they are secured on the truck for transport. We appreciate it when your bags are properly tied shut when we come to collect the waste. Mary uses its Genesis electronic manifest system to record waste that is collected for destruction. Here Paul records the number of containers and an estimate of the weight. Many of our customers have an agent letter on file that lets us sign the manifest on their behalf when we come to collect their waste. He'll confirm the weight on a certified scale when he returns to the plant. The customer receives notification of the actual weight at our licensed treatment facility. The infectious waste is then sorted before heading to the microwave processor where the material is shredded, injected with steam, and microwave with the temperature rising to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit throughout this process, which takes place inside of a sealed system. When it comes out at the end into a compactor, it looks like confetti. Its original volume has been reduced by 80%. Once the compactor is full, it is pulled and taken to the landfill. This is the final step and the manifest is closed. Our customer then receives an electronic copy which provides documentation of the waste from cradle to grave. Finally, all Mary containers are scrubbed and disinfected before being put back into service. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this video and have a better understanding of the cradle to grave disposal process at Mary.